Welcome back to the Heller Goodman Solutions Workshop here at Heller's head office in Mentone, Victoria. In this, the next of our videos in the series where we're showcasing the Heller Goodman Solutions diagnostic and calibration equipment, we'll conduct a rear radar calibration on a Mazda CX-3. These rear radar units are the primary source of information for the blind spot or lane change assist. They can also contribute data to the exit assist, rear cross traffic alert, and provide information for collision mitigation systems. The rear radars need to be calibrated typically after they've been removed and refitted. If there's a fault code indicating that a rear radar calibration is required, if the rear bumper has been removed or refitted, and if the radar units have been replaced. The Megamax Diagnostic Unit will guide us as to when a rear radar calibration is required. And these recommendations are based on the motor vehicle manufacturer's specifications. The Megamax Diagnostic Units store all previously worked on vehicles in the Vehicle History section. And in this case, that's how we'll select our vehicle that we will perform the rear radar calibration on. Once we have selected our vehicle, we'll connect a battery charger and then conduct a global scan to ensure there are no trouble codes set that may affect the results of our calibration. Now the global scan is complete and we can see there are no trouble codes set that will affect our radar calibration, so we'll continue. Now we select basic settings and configuring the lane change assist. As per the detailed instructions on the Megamax 56, we can see that to perform the rear radar calibration on the CX-3, we require the rear cam kit one basic, the rear cam kit one addition, and the radar reflector. Once we are satisfied all the preconditions have been met, we can continue. Here we select which radar sensor we're going to calibrate. Today, we'll do the left-hand rear radar sensor. Now, the Megamax guides us as to where to locate our target, in this case, the radar reflector. We mount and adjust the lasers to the rear wheels ensuring the spirit level bubbles are centred on both planes. Then we position the rear cam kit one basic at a position of 593 centimetres from the front bumper as advised on the Megamax 56. Next, we adjust the rear cam kit one left or right as required to achieve equal readings of the lasers on the measuring scales, thus ensuring the target is centred to the vehicle. Now, by measuring from the centre of the rear wheel hubs, we set the rear cam one kit basic parallel to the rear axle. To achieve this, we need to have equal readings on both tape measures. Next, as advised by the Megamax unit, we adjust the fastening profile to 67.4 centimetres. With the support set at 67.4 centimetres from the frame centre, now we mount the radar reflector We've set the radar reflector to a height of 85 centimetres from the top of the unit to the floor. The last step is to make any adjustments as necessary to ensure the spirit level bubble is centred. So now we have positioned the target, in this case a Doppler generator, the correct distance from the vehicle, on the correct plane to the vehicle and at the correct height as nominated in the Megamax 56 diagnostic unit. Now we can initiate the calibration. As we are satisfied that we've positioned the target, in this case the radar reflector, precisely as per the Megamax instructions, we can continue. We switch on the vehicle ignition and the adaption is being carried out. The Megamax unit will soon confirm the results of our calibration. We switch off the ignition, continue, and here we see the adaption has been successfully finished. This completes our procedure. 
calibration procedure now finished, we can print out a calibration report. This information is stored in the vehicle history and can be referred to at any time. So there you have it, the rear radar calibration from start to finish. We hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to presenting the next video where we will conduct a calibration of the all-round camera view on an Audi A7.